And a lot of organizations, unfortunately, are going through this in real time right now and having to make decisions, what they do with certain employees that have been doxxed, um, and do they make a statement or do they not make a statement? The first thing to understand in this process is, and I, I sort of go back historically to the world of crisis PR, historically, there was this, this move to say, we have to get ahead of the message. We have to say something. We have to engage. And what you find in, in today's social media and, and media environment, it's incredibly difficult. You're, you're just not going to be able to get ahead. You're certainly not going to be able to create the message going forward in the first few minutes, few hours. It is going to go the way it wants to go. Um, so the first thing to, to realize is you don't have to jump out and say something right up front. Um, it is important to do a risk assessment. So what is being said? How many people are saying it? why they're saying it, all of that becomes very important. That helps to gauge when and how to potentially make a statement. Organization may never make a statement. Um, If the risk assessment says, you know what, the risk is very low from this this event overall, any push, anything we do to, to put a spotlight on this case is likely to bring more negative attention on us, not necessarily positive. So that's the, the first big step. Then understand how the case occurred. So a quick after action, a quick investigation as much as you can. Is this a single individual and the infor- his, this, his or her information was easy to get by somebody outside the, the company and they've put it forward? Or is this something that is incredibly difficult to get this person's information and publish it? Important to know potentially who, and in our world, we refer to it as an adversary. Who is this adversary? Is this somebody that just did it on a Saturday to do it? Or is this something that's that's really likely um, to potentially becoming an extended or elongated process? Are they going to do more? It would be an important part of that, that risk assessment. And then creating a bit of a response plan with triggers or what you know, when we call them triggers, there's just if then statements. If, the, if we see this, then we're, we're going to put out this kind of a statement. If we see this, we're going to put out this kind of a statement. Um, and create three or four potential scenarios so you know what to do in these cases. And then ultimately, you have to monitor how those statements are going. If you're going to make a statement, important to get that feedback to make sure it achieves what you want it to achieve. 